Hi, we are here today with Mark. Hi, Mark. Hello. Let's talk about you. Uh, what's your job? Why does uh, the web talk so much about you? Uh, well, I'm 61 years old. I'm uh, married. I've been married for 11 years now. I'm an American living in Germany. Um, I'm a mechanical engineer, but I've been working in a robotic packaging industry for like the last 35 years. So. So why does the web talk so much about a mechanical engineer? I think one of the, one of the big things is that uh, you know I've, you know natu naturally you see me wearing you know skirt and high heels, but I think the world is used to seeing uh, you know men that are more feminine or gay or something uh, that do that, and and you know that's that's something that I you know talking to some of these brands and stuff. Uh, you know about their about their products and the way they're advertising. Um, I think that's basically the appeal is that I'm a straight guy. I'm you know I'm not gay. I'm not feminine. I don't think I got a feminine bone in my body. So and I think that's that's the attraction is that 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 straight guys can wear skirts and high heels. You know, and they don't have to be feminine. They don't have to be gay. They don't have to, you know. Uh, you know their sexual orientation is you know basically just heterosexual so mm -mm. And, I, and i think that's the biggest attraction you know there's there's all kinds of you know pictures of men wearing skirts and high heels or dresses and things like that but they're more feminine i'm not gonna say they're 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 gay but they're feminine or or they could be gay i you know you know i'm not going to judge you know someone's sexual orientation by what they wear but typically they have a very feminine look to themselves And I think uh, I think my look is, is fairly masculine, um, even though I am wearing a skirt and high heels. Maybe it's uh, this um, opposite uh, view of yourself that are going to uh, make the web talk so much about you, I believe. Yeah, I, I think I think I give a more of a masculine appearance. Uh, and, and not the feminine appearance. And I think everyone is used to more of the feminine appearance. So we have noticed that your posts uh, often end with the, the statement clothes and shoes should have no gender. What does it mean? Well, it means that it means kind of basically a, a straight guy can wear uh, women's clothes. And, you know, what what I wear like the skirt and high heels uh, should not be classified for women only um, because I, I am I am I'm a, I'm a man you know I'm I don't I don't claim to be a woman but I'm wearing a skirt and high heels uh, so you know women you know women have you know traditionally wore pants you know 60 70 years ago you know women didn't wear pants um, and now you know but just because a woman's wearing pants doesn't mean that she's you know, a man or something. So, you know, it's just, you know, the clothes should have no gender uh, associated with it. And it shouldn't really dictate what that person's sexual orientation is as, as well. So why do you think there is this uh, difference between uh, a guy wearing a skirt and uh, a woman wearing a treasure? You know, I, I think I think because because uh, Uh, I think women are, are, are generally more uh, fashion trendsetters than, than men. Uh, women tend to experiment more, and you know, I, you know, I, I think, uh, um, you know, women have always said, "Hey, high heels are very uncomfortable, so I'm going to wear flatter shoes and stuff like that." So, and and that's been pretty much the accept accepted norm. Uh, but I th I think it just has to do with. Um, You know, I, I think men want to hold on to their their masculinity, and or and they're kind of afraid to show, you know, that they are feminine. I, you know, I'm not trying to show that I'm feminine, but you know, just because I wear skirt and high heels, I think I can still be, you know, the same man that I I am when I'm wearing pants. Yeah, there is this sort of fear of feminine. Yeah, and and I don't think women have I don't think women care if they're if they're conceived as masculine. Masculine, yeah. Well, uh, I think about some you know some some women do some you know, I get a lot of messages from my women followers that say, you know, Mark, you've opened my eyes to, 
you know, just wearing what I want to do. I, I'm a woman, but I, I'm afraid of being called a lesbian or a dyke or something because I'm wearing men's clothes. Mm -hmm. So, so, so it, you know, the fear runs on both both the male and the female side. Uh, how do you feel wearing a skirt and high heels? What is your cloth of the heart, the one that you cannot give up? I, I really don't feel any different wearing, if I, if I put on a skirt in the morning or if I wear pants in the morning, uh, to me, it, it doesn't change who I am. Um, you know, I don't try to act more, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't try to act feminine because I'm not feminine. So I act the same whether, you know, I'm wearing a skirt or wearing pants. You know, I walk a little different because I don't want to walk, you know, when, I, when I'm sitting or something, I don't want to sit like I would if I'm wearing pants. So I have to, I have to uh, not act different personally, but I have to act different physically, uh, you know, so that I'm not exposing myself or, or something like that. So, uh, but, but um, you know, emotionally and, and I don't make any changes, so. But there is a, a, a particular um, garment is correct the word yeah is. is there a particular garment that you love more than others well you know it, it took me a while to find to kind of find my style you know I, I experimented with different skirts different skirt lengths um and and i i finally chose since since most of my stuff i preferred the, the more the office business look uh, mm. because that's kind of what what i do so 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 i i didn't you know I, I played around and I, I finally determined that my style is like the, the pencil skirt, you know, that's, you know, either, you know, slightly above the knee or at the knee or, you know, just below the knee mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and, and, and a stiletto heel. In one of your posts, uh, you say that you have finally found your happiness and that's something not everyone could say, I think. Uh, what did you do to reach this? I'm happy because, you know, You know, I've, I've been in the business uh, professional world for, you know, for 35 years and it's always been just wearing, you know, a suit and tie and those suits were either black, you know, navy blue or brown or gray. And I always had just black or brown shoes. And, you know, occasionally you get to dress it up with a little color with the, with your tie or something, but typically those were pretty pretty much limited also. You didn't want to, you didn't want to wear a bright red tie Uh, you know, mm -mm. because that kind of, you know, it, it's, it's not too professional like because then you're showing some kind of power struggle or something like that. So, uh, you know, I, I really got bored, you know, the last, you know, up until five years ago, I was, you know, I, I hated getting dressed in the mornings because mm. it was the same, same thing that, you know, I was putting the same thing on that I had been for, you know, of course, they're newer suits, you know, I, I upgraded suits, but they're, But they're still the same colors, you know, the fabrics are different, the patterns are all the same. Um, I, I was just bored and now, now I'm not bored. You know, I, it, to, to me it's kind of exciting what, what I'm going to wear, what, what kind of combination I can put together each morning. So I want to reconnect you with these things you said. Uh, there was a significant episode Uh, in your life that made you say that's enough uh, it's time to wear what I want and not get bored I started wearing heels when I was in college a long time ago so I've always had the uh, you know the the, the the desire to wear a high heel but you know that wasn't really uh, you know I'd wear it for like a few months and then I'd put them in the closet and then you know kind of forget that they're there and then you know think about it or clean out the closet and I find them again, then I start wearing, you know, again. And, you know, there was times I probably, I, I think the longest spell I went without even wearing a high heel was maybe 10 years, you know, in, in that 40 year time frame. Uh, and then just about maybe five years ago, I, you know, I said, you know, I'm old enough where I really don't care what people think, you know, about me, you know, either they like me or they don't. And I really don't care what, uh, what they say about what I wear or something because it, it just doesn't bother me. So about five years ago, I, I said, I'm just gonna start wearing, you know, the high heels. And I wore it with my pants and stuff. And then, uh, you know, about a year, year and a half later, I said, you know, then I said, well, to kind of even go a little bit further, let's let's try a skirt or something. And, and yet, you know, try to, try to maintain some bit of masculinity. And that's probably one where I don't wear a dress 
is because then I really can't, you know, I really can't be like a hybrid, you know, half and half, you know, half masculine, half feminine and stuff. So. And the first time you were on high heels, um, how do you manage to walk with uh, that kind of shoe? Did you already knew how to walk with that or you had to, to learn? Well, the, the first time I wore high heels, I was with, with my girlfriend. I was actually wearing her sh pair of her shoes. We had, so it happens we were the same height. We had the same size. We mm -hmm. wore the same size shoe and stuff. So when she wore high heels, she was naturally taller than I was. And she loved wearing high heels. So, you know, she said, if you don't like me being taller than you, you're just going to have to wear high heels too. So, um, and, and it basically started, you know, in the evenings, you know, we, we'd, uh, you know, this was 40 years ago after, after, after school or, you know, I was in college. So after classes or something, or, or, you know, we had a little bit of work to do, you know, we, we'd come, come back home to the apartment and, you know, we'd eat dinner. Then, then, uh, you know, when it was time to go to bed, we'd put on some like some slow dance music. Mm -hmm. Um, and she liked to wear her high heels when she was dancing so naturally she was taller than me so that's when i started wearing high heels and so my first experience wearing high heels was was basically just slow dancing mm -hmm. um and i and i got pretty good at it and you know i've got very strong legs and i got a, i fairly got a good sense of balance so i really don't struggle that much on high heels and i think that's one reason why it's a little bit easier for me to walk in high heels you know just because of the strength and and a good sense of balance Lucky you, I would like to say. <laughs> um, why do you think many people find difficult to accept who dresses by choosing in, in, in total freedom like you? I, th I think people um, have a hard time accepting it because it's not what they, they would do. You know, it's, it's, you know, you know, people go, okay, well, I, I wouldn't do that. So it's not acceptable, um, you know, but you know, no, no one's alike. Everyone, everyone's different. So, you know, it's not, it's not just, uh, you know, people accepting what I wear. Uh, the, you know, the big focal point is, you know, people accepting, you know, say my religion or my color of skin or something like that. I mean, that's, that's the biggest issue. Not, not what a person is wearing, mm -hmm. but if, you know, if, if we can get people to accept, you know, a, a guy wearing a skirt and high heels, Can we get that same person maybe to accept, hey, you know, this, this, this guy's got a different skin color, he's a different religion or something. And I think that then the world would be a much better place. Yeah.